horrible, horrible lighting. Hello, folks. This is Yvette from YvetteLaboy.com. And um, I didn't get on yesterday, so I want to get on today briefly to talk about leaky gut and five things you can do to help yourself. So, uh, so difficult to get good lighting. Let me just leave it like this. Okay. So if you're experiencing symptoms such as seasonal allergies, brain fog, um, hormonal imbalances, the root cause could be hiding in your digestive system. So every day millions of people are struggling with leaky gut and other GI issues without even realizing it. And if you have an autoimmune condition, I've spoken about this before, especially with lupus, um, you know that your gut is the gateway to health and nearly 80% of your immune system lives with, within the gut. You know, I've spoken about this before. And this means that repairing your gut um, can really help improve every area of your health, um, particularly your digestive system, you know, digestive issues and autoimmunity. And this is for my people out there who have autoimmune conditions like lupus. So, um, leaky gut is one of the most common problems that is directly related to autoimmune conditions. Okay? And when... Um, Functionally, normally, your gut is semi-permeable and it lets uh, micronutrients pass through your intestinal tract and into your bloodstream so they can nourish your body. And certain foods such as um, gluten as well as toxins, infections, and stress can cause the tight junctions to break apart and let much larger substances pass through um including toxins, microbes, unde undigested food particles. Thank you for the thumbs up and the hearts. I really appreciate it. Um, so these particles will run into your bloodstream. So your immune system immediately recognizes that these substances shouldn't be there. So it sees it more as a foreign invader and it's going to attack them. Um, and a lot of the symptoms, um, so it'll attack them, like I said, um, because... It sees them as the foreign inv invaders. And this can cause, and it does cause, chronic inflammation and a lot of symptoms in short term. And um, it can potentially, potentially um, um, contribute to an autoimmune condition to develop if you haven't had have one present yet. So what are some of the symptoms of leaky gut? Um, gas, bloating, diarrhea, irritable bowel syndrome, which is IBS, food sensitivities, allergies, brain fog, difficulty, concentrating, which is a lot of people have autoimmune conditions, suffer from these, um, ADD, ADHD, um, depression, anxiety, acne, eczema, and other skin conditions, um, seasonal allergies, asthma, um, irregular periods, PMS, and PCOS, um, chronic fatigue or fibromyalgia, rheumatoid arthritis, Hashimoto's, lupus, psoriasis, celiac disease, and other types of autoimmune conditions, you name it. Um, I'm going to name five things that you can do to help you to, to kind of help yourself with this, you know, condition to, to um, improve your gut health, which is very important. Um, number one, L-glutamate supplements. So this is an amino acid and it has been shown to heal a damaged gut lining and shows great really great potential for reversing side effects of leaky gut syndrome um, herbs with the special ability to heal gut lining such as marshmallow root and marshmallow root um, it's a multi-purpose herb is mucilaginous okay which covers your digestive tract with protective lining and eases the inflammation, it cools down the inflammation in the gut, helping to soothe like ulcers, diarrhea, constipation, as well as restoring the integrity of the small junctions found in your digestive tract. And this is one of the reasons why marshmallow root has been found to be so beneficial for people suffering from um, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, and other gut issues, okay, marshmallow root. Not marshmallows, okay? Not Stay Puft marshmallows or anything like that. It's marshmallow root. And you can find that at your local um, either health food store or where they sell um, herbs. Um, I 
you can go online. There's a place called Mountain Herbs, mountainherbs.com, and you can find um, marshmallow root through them. Licorice, also known as DGL, it helps your body repair the gut lining um, by replenish replenishing the mucus that um, creates healthy intestinal barrier. And uh, licorice or DGL is made using a process that extracts um, a... Uh, Hey, Cindy, thank you for joining in. A chemical which can raise blood pressure um, from whole licorice while retaining its nutritional benefits. Okay, so it's very good for you. Um, not Twizzlers licorice. Hey, Cindy, thank you for joining in. But the actual licorice, licorice root, DGL. Um, and it has been used for more than 3,000 years uh, to treat as a treatment for digestive issues such as ulcers in digestion and this ancient wisdom is now backed up by science which is awesome you know um, and more and more science is starting to see that there these herbal therapies and these holistic therapies are, are very helpful to us you know and incorporating them helps to create better health for us you know and I'm all for that and thank you for the hearts and the thumbs up I appreciate it I love the witch from Wicked I love it <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about Halloween. So, um, a study comparing a licorice with an over-counter medication for peptic ulcer disease found that licorice, and again, not Twizzlers, the licorice root, um, to have the same powerful protective action against the recurrence of an ulcer, of the peptic ulcer, to help with that as much as med the medication did. And it is thought that this effect is due to the DGL's ability to protect your body by promoting healthy um, the mucosal lining of the stomach, which is very important. And, you know, standard American diet and foods that we eat and the stuff that we're drinking um, damages our, our gut a lot. So a lot of people have really a bad um, microbiome and they don't even know it, you know. So uh, another, another herb that's good is slippery elm. And it's another wonderful herb for gut repair that has been used for centuries in the in the U.S. It works to your advantage in three ways because slippery elm increases the uh, mucilaginous content in your digestive system and we need that. It stimulates nerve ending to boost mucus secretion which neutralizes excessive um, acid in the gut and it soothes ulcers and it provides antioxidants that help relieve inflammatory bowel syndrome IBS and these properties make it a great addition to any any IBS protocol um, for normalizing bloating abdominal pain um, stool frequency um, and it can provide much needed relief I make um, now that the winter's coming I make Slippery elm and, and licorice and I, also, I think I use marshmallow root. I got to look for the recipe and put it on my website and I actually make um, these um, Throat drops for the winter and they're really good. They, they help soothe the throat when, when you have it scratchy and you know You have a sore throat also aloe vera aloe vera is something else that's good to use it's very soothing and protecting it helps your body replace the loss of um, mucus associated with gut damage and leaky gut and aloe vera supports your immune system and it increases increases the water content within your intestines because we need that and aids in the control um, of candida overgrowth which is a yeast overgrowth bad bacteria and inflammation it also provides a wide range of nutrients and antioxidants including vitamin a c and e and studies show that aloe vera's beneficial effect on ibs and its ability to boost the number of good bacteria in your gut you know um so it's good it kind of tastes nasty but it's good <laughs> um they make a uh, juice with it but make sure you're getting the real thing Okay, also fermented foods. Your gut is home to around uh, 100 trillion microorganisms, and that's called the microbiome, and I talk about this a lot, you know, when it comes to leaky gut and, and autoimmune conditions. And fermented foods such as kimchi, sauerkraut, kefa, um, kombucha, helps replenish the most beneficial bacteria species in your gut. So it's another thing that you can use to help your gut to become healthy and to thrive. Okay, and also intermittent fasting. So give your body a little break 
from digesting food so it can focus on healing. So intermittent, intermittent fasting is an easy way to do this. You know, you can try fasting for 16 hours and eating within eight hour, an eight hour window only. Or for even greater effect, restrict your calories to just 500 to 600 a day for two to three days periodically. Like maybe like once a month you can do that. This restriction can speed up your body's ability to repair the gut's lining. The healing foods that I listed above, that I talked about, the herbs and all that stuff, um, are perfect choices to eat in small amounts during those low-calorie intermittent fasting days. However, if you're experiencing a flare, please do not fast. Do not fast because you're... Your body is going to be weak and it, it's going to need its nutrients. So you don't want to do that during a flare. So basically, um, always remember that what works for one person may not work for you and may not be right for everybody's bioindividuality needs. And there is no one size fits all solution to any health problem. A health program should be customized based on the patient's health history and lab results. This is what I do. I tailor my programs um, and I individualize them according to my clients and that's the way it should be done. Okay, um, so also remember that. Okay, these are just little tips. They may work for you, they may not, they may not. You know, so you take what works and whatever doesn't work, you don't need to do it. Um, and if you have any questions on anything that I mentioned today, feel free to inbox me here on Facebook. Um, or you can email me at info at um, This is all I have to share with you folks today. If you like this video, share it with others who may learn from it. Subscribe to my YouTube page, Yvette LaBoy Wellness Coach. Um, I speak a lot about lupus and autoimmune conditions, different topics related to that. Um, also, here on Facebook, my business page is Yvette, Le Yvette LeBoy Wellness Coach. Instagram, I'm One Holistic Diva. On Twitter, I'm Holistic Girl. And my website is YvetteLeBoy.com. Um, I really, I really want you folks to go from surviving to thriving so you can be the fabulous diva and diva you were born to be. You know, you are all wonderful and you all deserve to be healthy and happy. This is all I have to share tonight. Thank you so much for being with me tonight. Good night. God bless. And I will see you next week. Bye.